Are you in need of FIFA 22 coins to improve your squad? Look no further than u7buy.com, offering some of the cheapest coins on the market, whilst being one of the safest and the most reliable websites around in the market today. Make sure as well, if you do go to the website, you use code VIPER at checkout to get yourself a discount. Let's get into the video. What's going on guys, Viper here, and welcome back to the second player review of the day. This one is going to be on Mario Goetze, a bit of a blast from the past, a bit of an icon as well. Should probably get an icon card when he does retire. This card looks to be decent. Obviously, another area of VC special card, which I'm happy that EA are giving us in abundance. It's really, really nice to have the kind of minor leagues, or not the major leagues, I should say, getting special cards quite often. PSV are a good side. They've got a decent chance of beating Leicester. I still think Leicester are favourites, just about. But PSV are definitely no pushovers. And this Gertz card looks really, really nice. Now, he's got medium, medium work rates, 5 foot 10, right footed. Four star, four star. He's only going to cost you an 84 rated squad of an inform, which is really, really nice and quite cheap. Obviously, being German as well has lots of good links. If you've done that Madueke card, it's going to link to him as well, which is nice. If you've done this Kotchu as well, who looks really nice and is really good in game, you've got that as a link also. But as we move on to the base card stats, he's got 85 pace, 91 dribbling, 87 shooting, 60 defending. 90 passing and 80 physical, which is really, really nice, actually, that, that physical upgrade. He does usually get that on his special cards nowadays. Goetzer also has the finesse shot trait, so really nice there. He also has flair. Not really bothered by flair, though, in my honest opinion. Don't think it makes that much of a difference to the gameplay at all. As we move into the attributes, so what are we working with? So we've got 86 acceleration with 84 sprint speed, 92 attack position and 87 finishing. Good shot power, 87 for Goetzer. Poor long shots at 79. Good volleys at 99. I know why he's got that. 92 penalties. 93 vision. 89 crossing. 92 short pass with 89 long pass. 88 curve boosted to 99 due to the fact he's got the finesse shot. 82 agility with 90 balance. 89 reactions. 95 ball control. 91 dribbling and 94 composure. His defensive stats aren't the worst either. He can't exactly tackle, but he's got okay interceptions and defensive awareness. So you could probably just about get away with him as a centre mid. I'm personally not going to be playing him there. I'm going to be playing him as a cam in the 4 one to one two narrow. Then we move on to his physicals. He's got a big stamina boost, which is nice at 87. He's got really good strength, actually, too, at 82, um, which is really good for this card, which is considered to be a cam card. And it is a cam card, ultimately. In terms of chemistry style for this, this one, uh, his pace is a bit low, so I'm thinking straight away a hunter. Um, and his agility is a bit low, but I think you might just have to deal with that because you really need that pace boost, you know. So let's apply the Hunter, see what that does for him. So he's getting plus 10 on the pace, taking him up to 95. 97 attack positioning, 97 finishing, 92 shot power, and then 99 penalties. It's not really the boost that you usually want to go for on cards. You know, you want them to have a bit higher pace so you don't have to bother doing this. But Hunter on this card, I think, is the best option his stats are really insane everywhere else. It's a shame the Hunter doesn't boost long shots. But, you know, here we are. You could even go for a Hawk on him. A Hawk might be pretty decent. But I do want that full pace boost that we can get. That is why I think the Hunter is the best. We're going to get in some gameplay now. In champs, I've got a few games left in the, the, uh, the playoffs. So let's get into them and see how we get on with him. All right, guys. So first game of Mario Gertz. So let's see how we get on. I'm going to keep you here for 45 minutes. Now, we are going to be playing Sweats now. This guy's got Pele, Paqueta. Plus back name, Artiago Mendes, who I still actually need to do. Oh, I did mean to do a review on him, but got a bit stretched for time. This is a nice team. He's got Devon Neres still, which is nice. Um, you can obviously fit, link him to uh, the new Goethe card. Yeah, let's see how we get on with Mario. I'm expecting him to actually perform really well. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's find out if that is the case. But here we go. First touch for Mario. Madueke, back into Mario. What you got for next shot? Well, his pal. Come on, show me it. Show me it. Oh dear. I know I did yellow that, but that is uh, certainly an interesting start. Uh, he's got Neto in goal. I didn't even clock that. This is a full Brazilian team. It is, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. That's cool, man. That is cool. Be careful here. He might score there. Nice, good defending in the end. Here's Kochi. Nice good pass, Madueke, Goetze, good pass from Goetze, Calvert-Lewin, into Mario, okay, his sprint boost isn't the best, he does have low agility though, so it's understandable, 
But here he goes. Nice pass. Oh, man. He, he just doesn't feel as quick as Harvey Barnes, like, in terms of skill moves or anything like that. Oh, come on, I've read that. Thank you. Nice. Well done there. That's a good play. Goetze. Looks for Richarlison. Finds Richarlison. Back into Goetze. Goetze is going to try and wait for that. It's a good way to pass. Richarlison, awful header. Really nice pass, though. Goetze, some credit there. Kotchu. Goetze. Goetze! Whoa! What a finish! What a finish. Okay. Okay, so now with a card like this, you've got to remember that you're not getting super-duper shooting stats. I mean, that's, they're good. Um, but this card is ultimately more of a linker, you know? And I don't mean that as like a chemistry linker. I mean that as like a pass up, pass play, like a link up. Um, I said that completely wrong, but I'm, I'm assuming you guys know what I mean. He's there to pass, you know? I'm going to try to look for Kochu there. Beautiful pass, Mario. Kochu, oh, I can't wait for that guy's team in the season card, by the way. Is that Gertz there? Yeah, it is. Right, one last try on a finesse shot with you. It's unlucky. That was a better finesse shot. Now, I'm a bit worried about his finesses because his shot power's quite low. And we're playing at a high, high elo now as well. I think I'm 8 and 1 or, or 7 and 1, maybe. Um, so the elo's high, four playoffs. I've read that there. Don't switch into your centre back yet, Reese. There you go. There you go, you got him, you got him, you got him. I was using Tiago. Tiago. No, that's right. I thought it was Nuno Mendes there for a minute. Nice from Ramos. Not so nice from De Gea. Typical distribution from De Gea though, really. Nice, Georgie. Right or out. Very nice. Jorginho caught you. See if we can get that down there. Nice, good pass. Super Mario. Super Mario finds it. Oh, his passing sick. For some reason, Richarlison wants to head the ball instead of volleying it, but his passing has been really, really good. <clears throat> right, Goetzer again. His passing and link-up play is brilliant. Oh, Madueke, that's beautiful. Goetzer makes it too. He makes it too. Very nice. Good play from Madueke there. Now, do you know what, guys? Um, for how poorly received that SPC I thought was, uh, the Madueke one, he is a very... Very, very good card. And having that strong link opportunity to Gertz in there. Oh, come on, Dave. What are you doing? Um, yeah, having that strong link opportunity to, to uh, Gertz is really, really nice to have. Oh, my God. This game is so bad, isn't it? Nice. Well done, anyway. All right, let's, let's get out. Thank you, De Gea. Thank you very much. Right, here we go. Gertz into Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Richarlison. That's right. I said Richarlison. Mario Gertz into Madueke. Madueke. Oh, that's unlucky. Shielded too early there. Nice from Tierney. I'm going to go into Gertz again here. He just feels really nice on the ball. Um, and his shooting isn't actually as bad as I thought it was going to be, to be fair. Well, not that I actually thought it was going to be bad. I just didn't think it really had the qualities to be good enough. And that is the ultimate reason why we did apply the uh, the Hunter, you know. To get that them uh, that finishing up, get that uh, the shot power up where we could. Oh, this guy's really boring, to be honest. Oh, I've actually let him in there. He's messed it up though. Right, got you. I'm gonna try and get this into Madueke. Nice, good chance here. No, too late, too late. Nice, good pass from Gertz though. Still, he's making that run. Nice, Mario Gertz. Mario, oh, he's readied it. He's readied it because he's took an extra touch or just an extra, like, animation for some reason. I've enjoyed him, though. I've actually really enjoyed him. Obviously, he's going to go into a past and present buying team for us when the time's right. Buying. I mean, he can go into a buying past and present, but I meant more a Dortmund one. Um, into Madueke again. Good double X there. Kochu does well. Into Goetze. Goetze is going to look for Kochu again. Oh, it's unlucky. It's unlucky. His passing's really good, guys. As you'd imagine, you know, he, he plays very similar to Gertz of old years. 
if you're a bit of a FIFA OG. Oh dear, maybe he doesn't. What was that pass? There it is. Madueke's in. Madueke! And I've read it. It's still a good shot, though. Is that Gertz are coming short again? Yeah, it is. Okay. Another chance for Mario here. Show us what you're working with. There it is. Nice goal. 3-0, guys, at half-time. I'll bring you back some highlights. Gertz, what a ball that is. Madueke's in. Yes, two all. Back in the game. Very nice from Gertz, sir. Oh, my God, again. Oh, Gertz is passing. Calvert-Lewin, that's unlucky. Oh, my God, again. Oh, Gertz is passing. Calvert-Lewin, that's unlucky. Gertz, sir. Gertz is in. Mario Goetzer to win it. Oh, beautiful stuff from Goetzer. All right, guys. So, review on Mario Goetzer done. I like this card a lot. He does have a few weak points, though, that we are going to talk about. And the main one that it is, is his finesse shots are kind of disappointing. Just because of his long shots is what I found. He's got good finishing. He's really, really nice on the ball. And his passing with his dribbling is incredible. It's a very, 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 very good cam. Um... As I said, his finishing's okay. Long shots are not okay. Like, we've done a finesse shot with him. That did go in, and you are going to see the clip of that. But generally, his finesse shots aren't the best. He does feel somewhat quick, actually. Probably because the hunt has been applied. Uh, his sprint boost isn't the worst, either. Considering he is a bit low on agility, I was surprised at that, and his pace isn't the best. But I, I do think the hunt is working really well here. Um, I can't say that all the time for all chemistry styles, but I do think it really did make an impact this time round. Uh, I liked his strength as well. His strength with his dribbling and then being able to pass out because he's able to turn quickly and hold off a midfielder is really nice and something that you don't often get with too many cameras on this game. Um, but that big strength with the, the good dribbling is a really nice combination of things to have as it just makes him able to hold off players in the midfield, kind of win midfield battles and just dribble out of tight spots also. Um and not all cams, I can say, have that. So, you know, like a Neymar, Neymar's really good dribbling-wise um, and has five-star skills, of course, but he doesn't have the strength to back it up. And that's where I like Mario Goethe because he has the strength to back it up. Um, and his dribbling feels really tight, clean, and uh, he's really good at exiting out of sprint boosts in tight areas. But anyway, let's go over his stats and rate them out of 10. Pace is going to be a 6 out of 10. Whilst he isn't slow... Um, he still isn't the fastest. Uh, you know, as I said, the hunter is working, but, you know, he could always be faster. And having 99 pace on this game is nice. Um, I would say, you know, we just done the Harvey Barnes review. I would say Harvey Barnes still feels faster, and we applied a marksman to that card instead of a hunter that we've done to this one, and the hunter does make Goethe uh, theoretically quicker, but I don't personally think he's quicker than Harvey Barnes. So he is still quick, just not as quick as, you know, like the lightning players like your like your Harvey Barnes, for example. Shooting, I'm going to give a 7 out of 10. Um, his finishing is really good, and he makes good runs, and he's always in the right position, is what I found. But he's brought down a lot by them long shots, in my opinion. Uh, it's really nice having a finesse shot, but then when the long shots are a bit too low, like Goetz's are, it does kind of make it deemed useless. Um, but you can always trust his finishing, and his shot power is a really nice upgrade. Goetz generally, on all of his special cards, has really low shot power. So seeing this one with a nice upgrade is a big positive and makes his shooting really, really nice, in my opinion. Passing is going to be a 9 out of 10. The one thing I found of him, as I was talking about earlier, about the, the strength coupled with the dribbling, being able to turn quickly and hold off players, and then he's able to do, like, over-the-top balls, but in tight areas, if that makes sense. So you can just kind of dribble out of an area, wait for that run to be made onto the shoulder, and he's able to play that pass 9 times out of 10 in short kind of spaces which is something that I don't usually do with the over-the-top balls. I play them quite long-range. This guy is able to do it short-range, which was really, really nice and something that I've never really tried before. And he was able to pull it off nine times out of ten, uh, which is really, really good, of course. Then moving on to his dribbling, I'm going to give this an eight out of ten. He is kind of hampered a little bit by that agility, but everywhere else, he's insane. Uh, really, really good sprint boost. Really nice dribbling generally. It's tight left stick dribbling and sticky dribbling as well which is nice. I, I, I found him quite messy-like in the dribbling categories. Uh, he just is a bit low on that agility, which we do 
have to bring down the rating a little bit for as he could turn even quicker. If he had like 90 agility, I dread to think how good this card would be. Um, he is still really good, but if he got into the 90s for agility, wow, this card would be stupidly good. Then moving on to the physicals, I'm actually going to give this a 7.5 out of 10 because it's quite unique to have this on a cam that is considered to be the kind of tight dribbler, um, quite uh, low center of gravity. To have that kind of strength is quite unique in my opinion. And that's why I like that a lot. And I think this card is a must complete SPC again. Now, if you want to have some fun as well, you can do past and present Bayern, past and present Dortmund, past and present Germany. Lots of opportunities to use this card in a lot of teams. And if he does get the upgrade, you're looking at, you know, 87 pace, 93 dribbling, 90 shooting, 93 passing, like 62 defending and 80 physical. He gets a little upgrade to that defending as well. He'd make an even better centre mid. I think you can play him there. I just think he needs a little bit of an upgrade in the defending categories. And obviously, that stand tackle is really low. But this card is really, really nice. I'm a big fan of him, guys. I'm going to rate him an 8 out of 10. Brilliant, brilliant card. Go and get him done. Guys, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell so you never miss a player review. And guys, that's going to be it from me for now, so take care.